workers in Oakland dismantled a crane that was looming over the ruins of a devastating fire. And now, most of the people who evacuated will be able to go back home. The crane was in danger of collapsing after yesterday's fire at 23rd and Valdez Streets. KPIX 5 reporter Katie Nielsen is live at the scene with the latest on those evacuees and the investigation. Katie. No one was allowed to come into this area because of the threat of structural collapse from that crane. It had been damaged in yesterday's fire. Now, right now, if you take a look behind me, you can actually see that firefighters are still here on the scene. They're spraying what's left of this building, trying to put out any remaining hot spots. And earlier today, engineers put together a plan to take down that crane because what goes up must come down. It took less than 30 seconds to bring down the towering crane. My apartment's actually level with the crane, and I was just saying, please don't go in my bedroom, please don't go in my bedroom. Robbie is one of hundreds of residents who lived in the 100 grand apartment building. It had been evacuated because it was in the collapse zone. Now he and all of his neighbors are back in their apartments. He only has one thing on his mind. Probably sleep, because it's been very stressful couple of days. The fire started yesterday morning around 4.30 at the new construction project at 2400 Valdez Street. It was supposed to be a mixed-use building with more than 20,000 square feet of retail space and 224 apartments. The crane in the middle of the project started spinning uncontrollably in the middle of yesterday morning's blaze and today it had to come down. But now the more tedious work is just beginning. Right now we're looking at sm putting out smoldering fires that have been left um, now that the crane has been put down, brought down. Another issue, the heat and water damage to homes adjacent to this fire, specifically on 24th Street and Waverly Street. Residents there won't be allowed in until city inspectors are able to go around tomorrow morning and make sure the homes and apartments are safe. I just want to go home more than anything. Um, it, it's, it's hard, you know, I'm concerned about the house and, and uh, I just want to see it and just be back under my own roof. Crane demolition went exactly as planned. That means firefighters can actually get closer into what's left of that building tonight to put out those hot spots in any areas that are still smoldering. It also means that tomorrow morning, first thing, investigators from both the ATF and Alameda County Arson Task Force will be here. They're going to be looking for clues as to how this fire started. Reporting live in Oakland, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.